In this video, I want to talk to you about your required approvals that you require for your restaurant. When fitting out a restaurant, you'll need to obtain various approvals for the works. Your project manager or designer might help you with these. Any physical changes to the exterior of the building requires planning approval through the local planning authority. This process can take between 8 to 12 weeks duration to receive on average. Planning is potentially also required for a change of use, although planning laws have been simplified recently in the UK with a broader use class. But please check with your specialist or solicitor. You should consider advertising consent, which relates primarily to your signage for your restaurant. This will need permission in a similar manner to your general planning approval. Your pavement licence might be required if you're looking for outdoor tables and chairs. This is usually renewed on an annual basis and will be with your local council. Check with them for your, their local requirements. Finally, building regulations. These are statutory instruments or regulations and they seek to ensure that your building is actually built to the proper re relevant regulations and requirements. This can be done with the local council, although we often utilise the services of an approved inspector who can work nationally. Other points of note that you should make when you're actually opening up your restaurant is consider possibly what impact the deeds of your property might have. Even if you own a freehold, there can be some restrictive covenants. At times when you're taking a lease or rent, you'll need landlord's approval. Check and confirm sign off with your landlord and check what they require from you for that process. Once complete on your fit out, you'll need to obtain other permits and approvals. Some of these might include a food hygiene certificate, which is a legal requirement for any restaurant with EHO visits, restaurant insurance, public liability insurance, food premises approval, which is done by the local council inspection and approval, licensing for alcohol, and finally pest control. This is the legislative and is monitored through the EHO. Now I hope this video has been helpful to you, but if you'd like to talk with me some more, please email me or contact me through my LinkedIn profile. I'll be delighted to help you.